Um, look, just want to bring you a story now. Um, this is about uh, wildlife protection. It's in the papers today, and we've got a fascinating scientific device which has been developed. I'm going to talk to the inventor of that very, very shortly. But there you are, Isabel, the Rye Spy. Yeah, this is an article in the Mirror today, but it's been picked up by quite a few of the papers. And this is a camera that's being inserted into the horn of rhinos in South Africa, where they're saying that every six hours a rhino is being butchered, um, either for their you know, medicinal every value. Every six hours. Every six hours and they're saying that poaching has increased 9,000 fold since oh. 2007 and that they could be completely extinct within a decade if they carry on at this rate. So they're trying to curb the attack, if you like, on now, rhinos. What do you hear this? I mean, in the studio now, we've already been speaking to Steve Backshaw, who's a wildlife presenter and he's obviously very, very interested in this, but we want to go to the man who's developed all of this uh, via Skype. Uh, the camera's inventor, that's Dr. Paul O'Donoghue, and Dr. O'Donoghue is a lecturer in biological sciences at the University of Chester. Um, Isabel just gave us those statistics there. Uh, uh, just, just scary. Um, one rhino is butchered every six hours in Africa. How will your device, explain to me, Doctor, how your advice will slow this up, if not stop this? Good morning. So, so this will allow us to detect the second a rhino's poached. So we think this is the missing link in um, the kind of battle against rhino poaching. And this will should complement other existing strategies and make the whole system a bit more effective. But what I don't understand, Doctor, is, OK, I can understand the rhino having a tracking device on it and indeed a camera. But is the camera constantly being monitored? How do you actually know that the rhino is being attacked as opposed to sleeping? So the, the camera is part of a system that also incorporates a heart rate monitor. So we'll know um, when the rhino is shot. The heart rate monitor will trigger the camera to come on to start recording evidence. And then the anti-poaching anti units will be deployed to go to the poaching scene. But by then it will be too late, won't it? Pardon? It'll be too late by then. I mean, the rhino will be dead by then. So what, what happens is most, most rhinos are not poached individually. So normally people go on a spate of poaching. So the rhinos will, so we will get to the scene immediately and apprehend those poachers, which will stop them from poaching further rhinos. And we hope, the, the main aspect of this project is we hope this will act as a deterrent. So when you're trying to shoot a rhino, well, you won't, you won't pull the trigger basically. OK, I've got uh, Steve Backshaw, the wildlife presenter here, to speak to you as well, Doctor. Um, I, I'm wondering, th this is obviously uh, shows quite how bad the situation is that you can be thinking about targeting individual rhinos. Um, are you going to be targeting particular subspecies of rhinos or, or are you going across the entire group? Uh, we're, we're going across the entire group. Uh, this, is, this is part of a, a big team of people, basically, an international team of people. And, and most of the work is being done in situ in the country of origins, to be honest. So there's work going on in South Africa and there's work going on in Asia as well. So, yeah, it's, it's an underground project that will hopefully work on a global scale. Well, good luck to you, Dr. Donahue, and all that you're trying to do with this. Uh, it's called uh, Rapid Real-Time Anti-Poaching Intelligence Device. Good luck with it. Thank you very much. Congratulations to, to everyone at the University of Chester who developed this one. And uh, I suppose the hope, Steve, is that they'll be able to use it on polar bears, on tigers and lions and, and other things as well. Um, I, I think at the moment they're, they're very much focusing on rhino because this is a, a group that is at extreme danger right now, uh, mostly because the horn itself is used, it's ground up and used as pretty much a panacea yeah. throughout most of, of the east. It's also used for Yemeni dagger handles as well. And some of the subspecies of rhino are down to the last few dozen animals. So you have got to a situation where actually, you know, following one individual animal is, is still critical. And that will be okay. used alongside methods like removing the horns from animals with, with drones as well. Okay. So there's lots of other We're all trials well. in the next six to nine months in South Africa. Steve, appreciate your take. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed.